about you, but I love a good sandwich. I think sandwiches are like total comfort food. Everybody loves them. And so today we're talking about a make your own sandwich bar that's going to knock your friend's socks off at your next party. Hey guys, I'm Sid from the Lifestyle Site The Sweetest Occasion, and today it's all about sandwiches. As someone who loves to entertain and entertains almost weekly, if sometimes not more, I understand that entertaining can feel really daunting for some people. I like to try to come up with fun ideas that make throwing my parties easier, and it almost always starts with the food. My husband and I will talk about the menu, and that's really where the whole party takes off. One of my favorite ways to entertain is with some kind of food station. It makes it really simple to prep your food in advance, and then your friends can just come in, grab a drink, make a plate, and you're not stuck in the kitchen timing dishes and trying to roll out food on time. So today we're gonna create this epic make your own sandwich bar. The star of the show for me is roasted vegetables since I'm a vegetarian, but if you eat meat, feel free to load yours up with lots of things like salami, prosciutto, roast beef, whatever your crowd might like. When you're thinking about your sandwich bar, think about a couple of kinds of bread. I personally love these pretzel rolls and a great marble rye, but you might wanna do sourdough or a Kaiser roll. The sky's the limit, pick and choose whatever you like. I think two options is ideal. In addition to the roasted veggies, think about condiments. A few kinds of mustard, hummus, mayo, maybe a sriracha mayo or something along those lines. Just things to keep it interesting and suit every palate. Everybody loves cheese and if you say you don't love cheese, I think you're probably lying. So I'm gonna say you need maybe three, four, even five kinds of cheese on your sandwich board. People can mix and match. I really love provolone. You can do American, Swiss, pepper jack, a Colby jack, whatever strikes your fancy. You can just raid the entire cheese counter, put it on your sandwich bar. And then you need all of the extras. Think lettuce, tomatoes, onions, sprouts, pickles, all those delicious things add that crunch and that extra texture to a sandwich that kind of take it from like a sandwich to a sandwich. Either way you slice it or dice it, you really can't go wrong here. Just think about variety. Variety is the spice of life and it is the spice of any make your own food bar situation. For more details and great entertaining ideas, visit thesweetestoccasion.com.